Monday, 9.06 p.m. A large financial services company receives a report about a malicious hacker group that has gained control of sensitive files belonging to the organization. The message from the hacker group reads, We have acquired large amounts of employee data from the company. We plan to put it up for auction in 72 hours. A ransom request is also sent to the CFO, asking for 300 Bitcoin in order to prevent the auction. Several journalists who were tipped off about the auction are now calling to request a comment. There is a very real concern that information has been leaked outside of the company. A team is assembled to assess the status. I was called in to help the team handle the incident. The first thing we noticed was how disconnected we were from information that other departments in the company already had about the incident. The key for any crisis management methodology is that everybody works together. So when I asked the team, how do you usually consolidate everything? They had no specific answer. That's why I suggested we use the Simplify War Room module, which was designed exactly for these types of events. We created an incident case in the war room and invited the CEO. To accelerate the decision-making process, the IT expert and SOC, PR, HR, and legal teams were also invited and asked to keep the war room status updated, including roadblocks and upcoming priorities related to the incident. Once all communication was in sync, we could start plotting the effective response strategy. As there wasn't much time, we understood that it was key to place control back in the hands of management. With the war room, we could execute immediately. The attacker's data samples were sent to forensics to identify the source of the leak. The senior SOC staff and intelligence team started scanning the dark web, searching for any stolen data. IT started looking for recent configuration changes that might suggest data had been tampered with. And the PR and marketing departments they agreed on messaging and prepared official comments to be shared with the press. Recognizing the fluidity of the situation, the company also implemented hourly status checks among key personnel to ensure nothing was falling through the cracks. As more intelligence came in from internal and the external teams, we started negotiating with the attackers and working with the authorities to track them down and end the threat. Finally, a detailed incident report was shared with the department leaders for process improvement. I can confidently say that the Simplify War Room was instrumental to the crisis management process. To learn more about Simplify and the War Room module, go to simplify.co.